Hello and welcome back to Cracksoid. Today in this video, I'm going to give review of Lineage OS 17.1 on Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Also, in this video, I'll show specification features, Antutu benchmark score, PUBG frame rate, and graphic settings, and many more things. So, watch this video till the end and let's get right into the video. So this is Redmi Note 8 and I have already installed this Lineage OS 17.1 in it and this is the official stable build of Lineage OS which is based on Android 10. On official build of Lineage OS 18.1 is also available which is based on Android 11 and if you want to know how to install this Lineage OS on Redmi Note 8 then watch my previous video where I have shown full procedure to install Lineage OS on Redmi Note 8. I will also provide the link of that video in the description section. Now let's get into the features. This is the home screen section which has app drawer as well. On the home screen settings you can see that it has pixel launcher installed in it which gives smooth experience. Now I'll show the Antutu benchmark score of this ROM and you can see the benchmark score is 172204 which is quite better than the stock MIUI ROM. Now let's check on which graphic and frame rate you can play PUBG in it. As you can see we can play PUBG on balanced graphics and high frame rate only. SD and extreme option is not available but the gaming experience is not bad. And this is how notification panel looks like and from this edit icon you can add or remove toggles and this much of customization is available in this notification panel now let's enter into the settings sections and see what features are available in setting sections this lineage OS is simple with not many customizations although there are some features on setting section at the top there is search bar available from where you can search any settings and enter into it directly and at first there is network and internet setting available where there is private dns feature also available which is really a useful feature also in this lineage os you can enable wi-fi and hotspot at the same time this is really a good feature but xiaomi has removed this feature after miui 9 update there are some other basic settings like connected devices and apps and notifications now i'll go to the battery setting where there is battery manager feature which helps to detect the apps that are draining battery quickly also there is extreme power saver options available which will restrict device performance and background activity to save power and below there is automatic power saver available from where you can activate power saver mode automatically if your battery level reaches the selected percentage also you can see the last full charge screen uses since full charge and battery uses on the screen and the battery backup on this room is good and acceptable now i'll enter into display setting there is dark theme and night light available. On the advanced section, there is styles and wallpapers option available from where you can customize fonts, icons, color and shape of icons. And this will completely change the look with new customized style. Also, there is clock section available where there are some awesome looking clock styles available. Select any one and apply then see how clock looks on your lock screen and I like this feature on this Lineage OS. Also inside display setting there is colors option available from where you can select natural, boosted and saturated. Also you can change display size, font size and screen saver. And below there, there are some other features like double tap to sleep and wake wake on plug and prevent accidental wake up there is privacy setting available you can see permission uses in last 24 hours and most recent access in last 24 hours on the dashboard section and on the permission manager you can check and edit the permission settings on your phone now let's see what features are available on security settings there is fingerprint and normal screen lock available and you can select up to 6 by 6 pattern size but don't know why there is no any face unlock features available in this room which is really 
a bad thing and at last there is screen pinning feature available on security setting now i'll go to accessibility setting there are similar options like dark theme font size etc also there are some other features like remove animations dwell timing power button end scroll vibration and haptic strength live caption mono audio etc digital well-being and parental control is also available now i'll enter into system setting first i'll go to button settings here you can see lots of customizations related to buttons like end call using power button long press power button for touch answer calls using volume button so volume panel on left side and so on you can try this by yourself and set customize your own setting now let's go to status bar settings at first there is quick pull down option available and you have to select right or left i'll select right now when i swipe down from the top right side then quick pull down will open but it will not open when i swipe down from the top left side there is another setting called as system icons from where you can control which status bar icons are shown suppose you don't want to show battery icon on status bar then simply deselect that battery icon then battery icon and percentage will disappear from status bar section this is also a cool feature that you should try below on the clock section there is clock positions from where you can change the clock position to left or right also you can enable so seconds and am pm styles below clock there is battery indicator options from where you can select battery status style to icon circle and text also you can choose battery percentage to show inside the icon or next to the icon or even you can hide battery percentage too and at last there is brightness setting available on first section there is brightness slider available you can select it to never show or show when expanded or always show i would like it to be on top every time when i open notification panel so i'll select show always option and auto brightness option and brightness control by sliding across status bar feature is also available now i'll go back and enter into gesture settings at first the jump to camera is available if you enable this feature then you can access to camera by just double pressing power button and this is snapdragon camera which works perfectly but i'll suggest to install google camera in this linus os now i'll go back to system navigation option from here you can enable two button navigation three button navigation and gesture navigation and there are some settings on gesture navigation that you can customize by yourself and at last there is prevent ringing option available you can select vibrate or mute if you enable this feature then you can put your phone to silent or vibrate by just pressing volume up and power button together and there are some other basic settings like backup reset multiple users etc you can also update it to latest version from this updater if any new update is available then it will be shown here and from here you can simply download and install the latest version of linus os i am using this linus os as my daily driver and everything is working perfectly for me but in case if you find any bugs or problems then you can comment down below and inform all of us so that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you like this video. If you find this video useful, then hit that like button, share this video and comment your opinion. You can also follow Cracksweight on social medias like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe our channel Cracksweight. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care.